All right, we got Kamaru Usman taking on Hamzat Jemaya. There's not many fights left in the welterweight division that excite me. This is one of them. Um, let's not bring up the Leon fights uh, talking about Usman because anybody can lose a fight that doesn't determine the future. Okay, but he's going up against, in my opinion, arguably the best welterweight that they probably ever had in Hamzat Jemaya, even though he's technically not a welterweight. Let's just be honest. Him and Leon both are kind of like <laughs> middleweights. Let's just be real. But um, <laughs> that being said, this is a really, really, really hard one to call because you have the experience edge leaning towards Usman. Championship uh, fighter has fought multiple five-round fights, has, has, has uh, been to the deep waters, has applied that same pressure to people to keep his title, has knocked guys out, has, has beaten guys by just, uh, you know, just by pressure alone. And then you got Hamza Chamaya who literally could take guys down in the first round and submit them. And, um, you know, a lot of people like to base Hamzat's career off that Burns fight. He only stood up with Burns because he didn't want to go to the ground with a jiu-jitsu guy. Kamaru Usman does not pose a jiu-jitsu threat. He does not pose a, a, a submission threat. Leon will not. If Hamzat gets his hands on Leon, Leon's finished. If Hamzat gets his hands on most of that division, they're finished. Let's just be real, and that's not up for debate. I don't know why you guys in the comments like to debate against Hamzat based off that Burns fight, which Burns lost, you know? But anyway, um, but I do, part of me wants to say Hamzat Shemaev is going to win this. Just simply do, I feel like he's going to be too strong for Usman. He's just too big for Usman. I feel like this is kind of a bad matchup for Usman. I know Usman's a good wrestler, but so is Hamzat. So when they cancel each other out, it's just going to come to the stand-up, which I think Usman does definitely have the advantage in. That's why it's hard for me to call. But at the same time, Hamzat has more power. And I don't, and we can say it's going to cancel him out. But at the same time, I, I mean, I think Hamzat's a lot stronger than Usman. I think he can take him down. I think they can take each other down. And I feel like Hamzat poses a much bigger threat. Let's say Usman takes Hamzat down. He's just going to ride him. He's just going to lay on him. You know, he's not really going to do much with it. But I feel like if... Hamzat takes him down. He's constantly punching and constantly posing that submission threat. So that's something Usman's really going to have to uh, watch out for. But to be honest with you, who do I have winning? I, I honestly cannot call it. I can't. It's just too close of a match. Um, like I said, I think Hamzat's fresher. Uh, he's more hungry. And he, he's stronger. And he hits hard. But the issue is, it's really hard to bet against a guy like Usman with all the, the, the championship uh, level fights he's had and all the experience that he's had, and that can prove to be Hamzat's detriment. He might know how to play against a guy like Hamzat well, so it's hard to call. And um, I understand a lot of people saying Hamzat's going to win, a lot of people saying Usman's going to win, but I'm just being honest, honest with you. From my observation, based off a lot of those guys' last fights, Hamzat hasn't fought in a while. Uh, Usman just recently fought. He didn't look good in it, but, you know, it was still a championship fight nonetheless. Um, and he went all five rounds. So with that being said, man, I have to call this a right down the middle. I'm 50-50. I cannot choose a winner on this.